coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Space Perspective is offering high altitude balloon flights. The commemorative Air Force will perform a nationwide July 4th flyover. And a couple receive a settlement from the Sussex police after being wrongfully arrested. Happy Monday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. Space Perspective has announced plans to fly passengers and research payloads to the edge of space with its spaceship Neptune, a high-performance balloon and pressurized capsule. The human space flight company plans to launch from the shuttle landing facility at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, with the first uncrewed test flight scheduled in early 2021. Flown by a pilot, Neptune takes up to eight explorers on a six-hour journey to the edge of space and safely back. It'll carry people and research payloads on a two-hour ascent above 99% of the Earth's atmosphere. The aircraft then cruises above the Earth for up to two hours, allowing passengers to share their experience via social media and with their fellow explorers. When it's time to come back to Earth, Neptune gently splashes down, where a ship will retrieve its passengers, the capsule and balloon. We'll be right back around the patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Like most of you, we're still working from home. We miss being around pilots. But the most important thing right now is to mitigate your risks and use this time productively while we all get through this. Folks, King Schools is open and we're 100% operational. We're making sure that your courses work and are available for you 24-7. We look forward to the time when we can see you again at the airport. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Deuce Drones has signed a demonstration agreement with Potter's Wings Mobile, a Buffalo Wild Wings franchisee, to conduct a demonstration of the company's drone delivery system. The demonstration is planned to take place at the end of August at the franchisee's Mobile, Alabama Buffalo Wild Wings Sports Bar. Deuce Drones will be responsible for the design of the aerial drone delivery interface system, including the design and operation of the landing, recharging, and package handling system. This year's Dayton Air Show, originally scheduled for this weekend, has officially been canceled due to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. Officials originally had decided back in April to postpone the event. However, the decision to cancel had to be made due to uncertainty surrounding if large gatherings would be permitted in the state of Ohio and if military aircraft would be able to participate. Airbus Helicopters 5 Blade H145 has been certified by EASA clearing the way for customer deliveries towards the end of the summer. The certification covers the full range of capabilities, including single pilot, instrument flight rules, and single engine operations, along with night vision goggle capability. NASA's Perseverance Mars rover is about to become the ninth NASA spacecraft to visit the surface of Mars and the first to collect samples for a return to Earth. The rover's astrobiology mission will seek signs of past microscopic life on Mars, explore the geology of the Jezero crater landing site, and demonstrate key technologies to help prepare for future robotic and human exploration. NASA is targeting July 20th as Perseverance's launch date. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer, offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the LightSport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrel is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. On July 
July 4th. The commemorative Air Force will conduct United We Fly, 4th of July, a series of events and flyovers in multiple communities across the country. Flyovers are already scheduled for multiple cities in Texas, Fremont, California, New Orleans, Minneapolis, Madison, Mississippi, and St. George, Utah. Additional cities will continue to be added leading up to the event, and CAF is currently taking donations to help fund the event. CAF President Hank Coates stated, This year more than ever, we hope to bring people together to commemorate Independence Day and honor our country's values, freedom, equality, and human rights. We hope people will step outside, look up, and join us for a few minutes of reflection on this national holiday. Paul and Elaine Gate have received a 200,000 pound settlement from the Sussex Police Department after they were wrongfully arrested in connection with the Gatwick Airport drone sightings. In December of 2018, armed officers stormed the Gates' home and arrested Paul and Elaine after drone sightings at the airport forced it to close for three days, disrupting about 1,000 flights. The Gates were released without any charges after being held for 36 hours, despite the fact both of them had been at work during the time of the incident and did not own any drones. In addition to the £200,000 settlement, the Gates also received a letter of apology from the Sussex police. However, they never received an explanation for why they were held for such a long period of time. In a statement, the couple said, We are delighted to have finally received vindication. It has been a very long fight for justice. We look forward to moving on and putting this terrible episode behind us. No one has yet to be charged in the 2018 incident. However, police have investigated around 100 people. And that wraps up our show, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more aviation and aerospace news, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you Wednesday.